Uh, permit me a word on today's election in the United States. We have breaking news from there, too, like Maricopa County. That was ground zero for all the uh, accusations of election fraud in 2020. So they've had a couple of years to practice it and get it right. And what do you know? As of now, a fifth of voting machines in Maricopa County are not working. Golly, you do surprise me. Nigel's doing a splendid job covering it all on the ground all week long. And I've just got one thing to add. The polls will be closing on the East Coast in uh, whatever it is now, four or five hours time. And if at 10 p.m. local time, the Republican Senate candidate or gubernatorial candidate is ahead, so you figure you'll turn in and then you wake up the following day to find a big bunch of Democrat votes mysteriously arrived at three in the morning, you'll know that it's just another exercise in pseudo-democracy from the most dirty, stinking, rotten, corrupt electoral system in the Western world. And indeed, by comparison with most of the non-Western world, Americans should be ashamed of it. Everywhere else, election day is held on election day. That's because the compressed time frame minimizes the opportunity for fraud. If you come up 10,000 votes short, it's hard to steal them if you've only got two or three hours left. So in the US, it stretches on from weeks beforehand to months afterwards. In the 22nd Congressional District of New York, which is somewhere between the Catskill Mountains and Lake Ontario, the last election was held on November the 3rd, 2020, and the result was announced on February 5th, 2021, or over three months later. It takes one-eighth of a congressman's entire two-year term to count the vote for his two-year term, whereas in a functioning system such as the United Kingdom's, we'd have had four or five prime ministers in that time. Uh, so if in five, six hours' time the usual shenanigans are beginning, we should treat American electoral politics with the same respect we reserve for Belarus or Sudan's.